Barbara, are we going to do our makeup exactly the same today? <laughs> <laughs> We're should... done. <laughs> yeah. I know. If you notice me looking over at you a lot, should we just have each other be the mirror? <laughs> I'll just go in like this. We'll do it at the same time. <laughs> Barbara Dunkelman and I Hello. are digging around in our makeup bags today, doing our makeup. We're gonna do our makeup together. I came fresh faced to the Funhouse Studio, or wherever we are, <laughs> if we're not supposed to know. <laughs> I was complimenting you on your makeup bags because they're really, really cute, and you said they're Target. It's Target. I actually both all my makeup bags and travel bags are from Target just because I have a good um, a good selection yeah, for gotta, not a lot of price. I gotta check that out. Mine's a free one from Elf, though. <laughs> from Elf. Yeah, I, I'm in travel mode right now, which means I bring everything I feel it might be necessary in case. Yeah, I do that when I'm traveling. I pack like a hundred pairs of underwear, like I'm gonna shit myself at any given moment. What is I, that? Why do why do we do that? I don't know. But I then, don't shit myself at home. I know. <laughs> I know, you always change my underwear twice a day at home. <laughs> but then I also have things in my wardrobe that either I've never worn or I've worn once and I hold on to it thinking, oh, I'll pair it with this type of outfit for this type of event. Yeah. Like if I go to the Oscars someday. Yes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, I do that too. And then it never comes to fruition. Aside from the makeup, we also have this fly spotter because there's a fly that's somewhere in the studio. No, it's a new beauty tool. Oh. <laughs> oh, it is like, you've seen that. Wait, did you have one of those masks where you, it's like the serial killer mask that lights we up? We have one. We filmed a video with it with the, for the show we do called Improv Ambush, where Kayla was given that mask and had to explain what it did. Ah, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So just right off the bat, how does this product feel? Unsettling. Unsettling. Very upsetting. Uh, Fear Hondo P. Mm -hmm. And so she said it was a serial killer mask, which she's not wrong. It's probably what people use it for. Yeah. There's um something I bought, because I'm definitely into fads, and like whenever I see a product someone's using and it looks good, I'll just buy it because I'm very happy. Have to have it. <laughs> and there's this machine that like has like two silver balls on it. And you're like supposed to like put it like along your jawline. Oh, does it like make your jawline? It's like tightens uh. your, it's like a face workout they say or something like that. I bought it years ago. I used it once and then I went, I don't know if this is sending some weird electric shocks to my brain. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna cause like irreversible brain damage and I just haven't had it long enough to study it. I'm fascinated because there are items you have that I've one, been curious about like this. This is amazing. It's called tiger grass. Mm -hmm. It's a color correcting treatment. Yeah. It comes out. It's like, green, right? It's greenish. Yeah. And you like rub it in and like it matches your skin tone and like gets rid of the redness. And sometimes this is all I use for foundation. That's what I need. You're welcome to try it if you want. Ooh, I, I might. I, so, <laughs> I also, because I'm a big like uh, sun prevention or sun protection proponent. So I have- um, Gotta stay young. I have both of my like, Sun, sunscreens that have tint in them, but they are deaf. Neither of them is really my skin tone. You can mix them. I could. <laughs> I could. <laughs> well, I was going to use the one that's too dark, and then I. <laughs> this is not a makeup how to show. Oh, it's no. Just, I don't know. I don't know fuck all about makeup. It's a makeup like how do show. <laughs> how do makeup? I also have this stuff. It's from Super Goop, which I love the Super Goop sunscreen. They do, it's like a setting mineral powder. There's a little brush on it. But it has an SPF of 35 too, so you can like put it on and get a little protection too, but. This has SPF 30 in it. This oh, really? Okay, okay, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> you, you, honestly, you need too much? Honestly, you need even le less than that. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just, just my way of saying, don't use up my product. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Cause yeah, I definitely have like a very pink undertone to my skin. I think we both do. I think we have very similar coloring. I think so too. Your natural hair color is a little bit more like warm than mine. Mine mm -hmm. is like mine's very like dishwater blonde. M mine is too. I actually my hair is dyed right now. Um, even the natural. Even the natural. Oh, yeah. It looks I got. Great. I got it. A bronze. <laughs> as they're. Oh yeah, I know bronze. Apparently, according to Gen Z, I've learned blonde is out of fashion now. Okay, <laughs> it's chewy. <laughs> It's chewy. That's the word. Wait, have we talked about this before? Because no. I, when I saw, I think it was probably a Buzzfeed post that was like, blonde is out. Like millennials, your blonde hair is out. Uh, Gen Z says that it's chewy. And for me, I'm kind of like, I feel like I don't have many options because I feel like it's what 
flatters you too. But also like, you can't do that to a whole hair color. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that to low rise jeans. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, not a person. But the blue eyes, totally out. Yeah. Sorry guys. So I will say like the older I get, the less that I feel pressured. Like I see that and I kind of brush it off where I'm like, okay, well, I'm still gonna do the thing that I think is works best for me. I really loved your post that you made um, the other day on Twitter about like the things oh, you realized. <laughs> you know, while you were pooping. Just about like getting older and being more comfortable with yourself oh, and who you are. It was just like really inspiring, really like, I think something that a lot of people, myself included, needed to hear. Oh, thanks Barb. You make a lot of really thoughtful, like self care related posts of like your mental, or well, sometimes it's just like my mental health is in the tubes. I but, just like um, to be honest if I'm just like, yeah. I'm not happy right yeah. now. <laughs> and um, I don't know, yeah, I think it's, you get older and then you care less. Yeah, which, at first sounds negative. Yeah, it sounds negative. But it's actually a positive. It's it's kind of like the adage of the people who matter don't mind and the people who, who mind, don't, who mind matter. don't matter. Yeah, it's, it's quote. you need to, I love it. And I also feel like that's with life where like you figure out like, well, what's really important? Is it important that I follow this trend or is it important that I uh, feel good about myself? because I like the way I look. Exactly. Like, and that's, I, obviously I think everyone would agree that's the most important. It's just like hard sometimes to put into practice. Yeah. And I think something that has helped me is like the realization, cause I, I definitely still get into my own head of like, people are going to care too much about what I'm doing or like yeah. judge me for stuff. Mm -hmm. But I then I, I realized that like everyone is their own main character. And so like everyone else always thinking, Oh, oh yeah. someone else is going to perceive you. It's like when you go to the gym and you think everybody's watching you and it's like nobody's watching you. But then everyone is thinking everyone's yes. watching them. Yeah. <laughs> you are somebody that um, on the subject of like that you feel like people are always scrutinizing you that I feel like I could always talk to and relate to because you, uh, much more so than I, like have been in the public spotlight and ha like have that scrutiny and... I feel like we have pretty similar... Sim experiences, yeah. Yeah. So we... we uh, and timeline. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, my skin is not covered. <laughs> I'm just putting things on. Hey, I'm doing the same thing. I, I don't like a lot of foundation though. Yeah, I don't really, I think that I still, you still need to be able to see some of my like imperfections and stuff. Otherwise it looks too weird and uncanny. Um, <laughs> Kenny Valley. Kenny Valley. <laughs> my like hot, hot Elise Williams tip, the only makeup tip I can ever offer anyone is like buy travel size, like, my mascara is like the travel size tart lash paint. And I'm sure it's lasted forever. It lasts forever, but it also, you're supposed to change it every six months or four months or whatever. Mm -hmm. So to me, spending, you know, 12 bucks and getting the small one, which you're gonna have to throw out before you finish it anyway. Exactly. Makes more sense. I, I love going to places like Sephora where they have the little like sample sizes along the checkout. Oh, I yeah. just buy a bunch of stuff there. Like I got a thing of also travel size mascara. Yeah. Which is what I brought <laughs> oh, with I've me. I've used that one. That's great. It's very good. Yeah. It came with like a pack of six different, five or six different, very good high quality brand name mascaras. Mm -hmm. And they're all like this size or so. And I'm like, I'm good for like two years now. Yeah. <laughs> However long I have eyes. Have you changed anything about the way you do your makeup in the last few years? Especially during quarantine. <sighs> I mean, probably like five years ago, I didn't care as much about making sure I had sunscreen on. Yeah. But now it's like the pivotal cornerstone. You also I'm, I think I'm gonna get this stuff. It's great. That was great. It's, yeah. So, I've looked at it before and been like, I don't know. Sometimes it's a risk, but. Honestly, I'm, that's another problem with TikTok and me is like, if I see some 18 year old girl use a product and it looks beautiful and perfect on her, I'll go, I guess I need to buy yeah. that. And then I put it on me and it doesn't really look the same. No, I think that there's, with makeup, there's something to be said about like, it's how you use it. And sometimes I'm like, I can't use it the same way that person <laughs> knows how to use it. I don't even know the proper order to do makeup in, but I usually do like my foundation and like bronzer and then my eyebrows and then my eyes and then my blush. Okay, so you use the bronzer? It just like kind of, it's this thing I got from Maybelline. Again, Maybelline. Oh yeah, okay. But it has like a highlighter, a blush, oh, and a bronzer, okay. and it's like a pretty this light, yeah. light one. Yeah, because I, until recently, still had and hadn't thrown out my like mid 2000s bronzer, which is the like- Those things last, I think the, they'll go through like a apocalypse. Yes, like apocalypse humanity will end and all we will have is freeways and bronzer <laughs> palettes. <laughs> and because, Twinkies, apparently. Yeah, and Twinkies. 
but it's you remember you remember that era of like mid 2000s where everyone is super bronzed and like was it that the little like it was a circular one i'm thinking also the, it was dark Pula? Um, Pula? i'm so bad at names i don't know but it <laughs> i don't know but I couldn't, I was like, you need to get rid of this because one, it doesn't look good on you, and two, it's never coming back into style. And guess like, what? <laughs> is it? I think people use bronzer quite a bit. I feel oh. like it's a very popular makeup trend that isn't necessarily going away. I also learned that it's good to <laughs> setting sprayers I don't perfume. Know. No, yeah, it's a prep and prime. Okay. Yeah. I've learned it's good to do that in between each step of your makeup. Oh. So that way, like, it. So that's better. What set are what step are you about to do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I did my foundation and stuff like that, and like mo most of my eyebrows, and then I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna use this a little bit. Usually, make, I don't really have like much that I do every day. Same. That's also something I realized happened in quarantine. I I have started wearing way less makeup, and I think it's because like we weren't on studio cameras anymore. Yeah. We we're on like home webcams. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, I, I was like, keep me in that 720p. <laughs> 480, yeah. please. Yeah. Because I used to wear like eyeliner and lashes to work. Not every day, but most days. Just filming days. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I have such light eyelashes. Like they're invisible unless I put mascara on. So I can see them. <laughs> clink, clink. But I do see people wear amazing makeup where they enhance their features in such a way and I'm like wow I wish that I had the skill or could do that I've, I've always thought you've done your makeup very well thanks Barb like the perfect amount for you that's what another thing too that bothers me is this idea that like a type of makeup look or or way to do makeup is a one size fit all thing when yeah. it's really not like everyone has different eye shapes and different skin tones and face shapes and everything like that where one technique or process doesn't work on someone oh absolutely I have like hooded eyelids and so, so there's like, eye. yeah, I can't really do that. Um, but then like Lindsay Washburn here at Funhouse, beauty, I beauty, she does like the best cat eye you've ever seen. Never talk to a woman when she's doing her eyeliner. My boyfriend will come in and he'll ask me a question and I won't answer him for like a minute. What are you trying to talk to me right now? I'm busy. Have you seen the trick where you like leave your eye open and like make the wing and then kind of like close it and then connect it so it does like a weird... Oh thing. That's cool. I still haven't figured it out. It is time to take on the sun with gear built to last. Our friends at Shady Rays have you covered for the warm weather ahead with premium polarized shades at an affordable price. Shady Rays is an independent sunglasses company that offers a world-class product that's just as good as any expensive pair we've worn. Durable frames and extremely clear optics for outdoor adventures, which I love. And that's not all. Shady Rays offers the most insane protection in all of eyewear. Every pair of sunglasses is backed by lost and broken replacements. What does this mean? Well, this means if you lose or break a pair, even on day one, they told us they will send you a brand new pair, no questions asked. So you can wear your Shady Rays with confidence because they have your back long after your purchase. And here's an even better part. Every purchase supports the Shady Rays Impact Program which works directly with nonprofits and their communities to empower and make adventure accessible for all walks of life. So this includes uh, childhood cancer patients to young adults with serious health conditions. Shady Rays is there making a lasting impact on their lives through sunglasses. Also, if you don't love your Shady Rays, no problem. Exchange them for a new pair or return them for free within 30 days. There's no risk when you shop. Their team always has your back. Exclusively for our viewers of Let's Blend, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Go to ShadyRays.com and use code BLEND, B-L-E-N-D, for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. So try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people. Thank you, Shady Rays. Also, eyelid primer. Very, oh, um, to prevent it from creasing. Because I get that a lot too. I use it so much, I can't get it out of the tube. <laughs> and it's pink. It is. Which, because your eyelids have like little veinies in them. Everyone's always like, you gotta be careful when you're touching your eyes because the more you push on them and oh yeah, stretch them, the more like they'll age. And I'm like, ooh, well I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like I literally spent years 
stretching my eye to do my eyeliner yes. this way. Maybe I'll put a, I'll do a liquid eyeliner today, Ooh. which I don't really, really wear a liquid eyeliner ever, but I have a brown one that I got recently. Why, like why, a dark brown. Why'd you go brown? I've been doing black eyeliner for as long as I can remember. And I just saw someone say like, if you're like more fair toned, especially uh -huh. like light eyes and hair, that a brown eyeliner actually might look better and less harsh. I'm gonna try that. So if you wanna try it, you are. Well, maybe, uh, well, I, well, I might get it. I don't wanna <laughs> put your uh, eyeliner on my my gross eyes, but um, I might try that. Yeah, I'm gonna get this green stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should be a saleswoman. Well, also, I think it's just because we are so similar. It's like, I'm like, okay, well, I can see how it's going to look on me. Yeah. Because you're true. doing it right now. Like, I'm your mirror. Yeah. As we established at the beginning. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so I used my... This. Use this. What now? What now? What does your, like, vanity look like at home? Like, are you a, someone who has, like, just a ton of different products and, like, it's just everywhere? Or do you keep things organized? No, I have, like, a drawer which is just has makeup in it. And I pull open the drawer and I just pull stuff so out. So it's just like loosely in there. I wish I had something like this. I should get something like this, right? You should, yeah. Do you have this? I have, my makeup also is kind of all over the place. I have something I bought that has like little drawers in it that sits on my counter so that my makeup's not out, it's in the little drawers. Oh. But I do it like eye stuff, lip stuff, face stuff. That's smart. So it's somewhat organized, but. Well, I have my drawer and then I also under my counter have a something like that but it's where i keep the makeup that i never use like on a regular uh, basis so like the stuff that i probably should just throw away i was gonna say why don't you just toss it yeah just stuff like oh well if i ever go to an oscar event and i need <laughs> this very sparkly eyeshadow or on it to go honestly like for me it's like oh um this weird costume that i'm doing oh, oh i yeah. can use this makeup for that i'm that same way with like random hair products and skin products and like all these things I buy and think I'll use, and then I'm like, well, I don't want to throw them out because I might want to try it someday. Yeah, or you paid money for it. I paid money for it, yeah. Consumerism, man. I'm just looking at what you're doing and doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is an angled brush. Uh, yeah, this is a, mm -hmm. this is a rounded brush. <laughs> hey, so, yeah, sometimes I like to do eyeshadow for my um, eyeliner instead of the like liquid eyeliners or pencils and stuff like that, because it's a little softer. Being someone who's done on camera stuff and has gotten her makeup done for things, I try to watch what they do and like what products they use. I do that too. And then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go home and try that. And then I fail miserably. Yeah, there's something like about having like a makeup artist do your makeup that you just, you feel like a million bucks. Oh, I know. It's like having someone doubt on you, mm -hmm. not doubt. Oh, doubt. like doubt on doubt. you, yeah. <laughs> I do have people doubt on me though. I have people doubt on me every day and that doesn't <laughs> yeah, feel as great. <laughs> doubt on you, yeah. Just like the, it's like the self-care thing, which mm -hmm. is nice. Yeah, like there's something about like, it's really just someone's touch, a stranger's touching my face and yeah. it feels good. <laughs> I like this. Do you ever get ASMR tingles from that? No, but I, I've never gotten into the ASMR. That's where you and, then, and I differ. <laughs> I know, I know. You were like the biggest proponent. I love ASMR. Not and like, it, you know, to an unhealthy degree. Yeah. <laughs> Zendaya, I saw recently, she did this Smart Water ad. Did you see this? No, but the way you went, Zendaya. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like I can relate. I, can, I know who Zendaya is. Yes, yes, yes. Though I did say her name as Zendaya for a long time. <laughs> I mean, I, it looks like it would be spelled that way. Because of like Maya, M-A-Y-A, I think my brain just went, it's Zendaya. Zendaya. But uh, Zendiagram. I, like the kids, know that it is Zendaya. She did this smart water ad where she's kind of whispering in the ad. Yeah. And in the comments, everyone's like, oh, Zendaya, ASMR, ASMR. And I'm like, I can do that. I'll whisper. Yeah. Let's hear it. Whatever. Barbara, are we doing our makeup today? Yes, we are. You have to, oh, someone's gonna clip this out and they're gonna do bad things. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's that's something too with ASMR is everyone thinks it's like a sexual yeah. thing. But yeah, it, honestly, isn't it though? To I, some people, maybe. I, I mean, I think everything is sexual to some people, right? You know? That's true. Rule 34, as they say. But I think uh, it's more of like a relaxation thing for most people. Like if I'm trying to fall asleep and I can't, I'll put on like an ASMR video. If I am falling asleep and I can't, I inhale counting to four and I exhale counting to four. That works. And I do that until I fall asleep. Um, yeah, 
You have to kind of like stay focused with it, but that's usually what helps me. <laughs> what you doing now? Try not to laugh while I <laughs> on this liquid island. One time I was doing eyeliner on Chris Damaris, he's a friend of ours, and the way he was reacting, you would have thought I was taking a hot knife to his eye. Why? He was just like, ah, ah. We're putting on eyeliner on Chris and we're doing the under eye part, which is the worst it part. It feels like someone's stabbing me in the eye. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. And I was like, it's okay. Like, I was being so gentle and so gingerly with him. But I think it's because, like, people who are not used to getting their makeup done or doing their makeup themselves, like, aren't used to things being in the vicinity of their eyes. Oh, yeah. And so I, I can see that. I get that. It was just very funny. Remember when we went to Hobbiton? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. That was, like, the best trip. It was great. It was, it was great. New Zealand. We went there right after RTX Australia. Like 14 of us. What's wrong? It's just, it's not the best. It's not the best. It's, I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep working on it. Here's what you do. Yeah, when you, when you screw up your eyeliner, you just make it thicker. <laughs> yeah, and you then were, you keep going. You ever seen like those like TikToks of like, it's like someone doing that and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and then it's like the whole eye. Yep. Um, yeah, New Zealand was great. But Hobbiton was like a dream. Oh true. yeah. I remember. I was laughing so hard. There's a picture of you and me that I think, I forget who took it, but the way we're standing, I'm like a little closer to the camera and you're like standing on something. So it looks like we're the same height. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But because I'm so much closer to the camera, it looks like I'm a version of you that ate you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> super elite. <laughs> were we like, trying Whoa. to do like a Frodo Gandalf horse perspective thing? I don't know if we were trying to do it or if <laughs> it just like just achieved it. It just happened that way. But I was just like, whoa, <laughs> I'm massive. That was a great trip though. It was good. The zip whining. It was like yeah. a zip lining a winery. Yeah, you, you do the zip lining first and then you drink. Yeah. So you're not doing it while drunk. drunk. <laughs> Yeah, and I've never been able to go zip lining since because I feel like it fails in comparison <laughs> to that. I might have different hair by the time this show comes out too. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I'm just like, do you ever get into those places where, with your hair or with anything really, where you're just like, I just don't know what to do, like daily. Yeah, I'm like, I just, I don't know, I don't know if I want to like color. Like I usually just get blonde highlights, but I'm like, I don't know if I want to color it. I don't know if I want to cut it. There like, was a time you went like white blonde right yeah like that was really nice too oh thanks yeah i think like with for me because i have a pinkier skin tone doing those like ashy or cool tones, cool tones it offsets it so are you just feeling right now that like you're just kind of bored with like your current look i um, want to change it up or just like get in the itch just to try something well first of all we know that i'm chuggy so that's <laughs> got blonde hair <laughs> you ever gone like a fashion color like a pink or a purple or like i feel like a lilac like Ooh. a pastel lilac would look really the, nice. I can I considered like if I did it shorter, maybe doing like some like little fun pieces or pieces something. or something. Or even like ends. Yeah, but I do like I like that kind of like natural like color. And you know, it yellow. grows back. It yellow. grows back. Because you did like the super pink before, which looked awesome. Oh, thank you. That honestly was so fun, but there must have been a week between me dying it and me going, I'm not gonna be able to repeat this because within a week yeah. it was like half faded out of my hair. And I was like, I don't want to have to dye my hair monthly or even like bi-weekly. I just don't have the energy or time for that. Yeah, I in high school dyed my hair brown, like dark, dark, dark brown. Really? Once. And that was like a, cause this was all, I mean, I was a teenager and it would have been like the early 2000s <laughs> yeah. where- Where that like super dark was like, yeah, and then I had to get like my hair stripped to get it out where they like, they bleach it all to like get it out and so it was the so whole rough. thing. Sometimes I'm like, well, wouldn't it be fun to experiment with something? And then I just always think back to that incident. Yeah, that happened to me too when I was, I think 10th grade, I went like white blonde oh. and I like didn't really intend to and I hated it. But because I did that, it like ruined my hair. Mm -hmm. And then I did it again. <laughs> Just like <laughs> two months ago. <laughs> and I'll do it and I'll do it again. Same thing with bangs. I go, oh. maybe I should try bangs. Oh, and gosh. Then I hate them. I had bangs in the late 2000s, early 2010s. 
Yeah. <laughs> there were lots of hairstyles that I liked with the bangs, but it was a lot to take care of. I, I did this thing where I would go into the bathroom in my high school, and you know how you have the little hand dryers? Uh -huh. I would wet my bangs, uh -huh. and I would sit under the hair dryer, the little hand dryer, and like, keep going like this so that they would straighten out because they kept like being all wonky throughout the day. And I would always be so embarrassed if someone would come in and see me doing that. Nowadays, I wouldn't give a hell. Those look so cute! But it's a lot. It's a lot to do. It is a lot. This is a, an interesting product I found. It does the same thing as a powder, but it doesn't add any like actual powder. So it takes oh. away like, oh, it's like a translucent, but it takes away the shine. I am a very greasy person. Like, if you look at my cell phone screen, it's just like, it's covered in grease. Oh, do you have the uh, filter on your camera as well? No, what's that? It's just the grease filter. From like, if you're on your phone a lot, and then you take a picture, but the grease from your skin has covered the camera, and so you have a little... Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yes, no, I do have that, I do have that. I thought that you were talking about a filter that I can get for my phone, oh. that when I take a photo, it basically like, does takes away that grease layer on my camera. Oh which, no, I wish. Cause yeah, I have to like, I have to like clean my le lenses because yeah, I you have can to use see. my shirt to like clean it. Yeah, you can see all my grease on it. Yeah, I just generate so much. <laughs> Me too. But yeah, it looks great. Is that it? Is that it for you? Uh, this is usually like what I do. Sometimes I'll, I'll pop on some lashes if I'm in the mood for it. But these, I always cut them. So I have like little chunks of them. I put on this like lip blush but I only put on like a very little and I would I'd probably wipe it off even more. Yeah, I usually put on lipstick and then wipe it yeah. off. <laughs> Just to get the tint. Well, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. Wow. You look just like me. me. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs>